Constructed in the 12th century, Bantai Samre is a testament to the grandeur of the Angkorian era. This impressive temple serves as a window into the past, offering a glimpse into a time when the Khmer Empire was at the height of its power and influence. The temple's construction took place during the reigns of kings Suryavarman II and Yasovarman II, a period of significant architectural advancement and expansion in the empire. The name Bante Samre in the local Khmer language translates to the Citadel of the Samris. This name pays homage to the Samris, a local ethnic group that resided at the foot of the mountain, Phnom Kulin. This tribe was closely related to the Khmers, and their influence is evident in the temple's design and cultural significance. Bante Samre was dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu, a deity revered for his role as the preserver in the Hindu trinity. This dedication reflects the religious beliefs of the Khmer Empire during the 12th century, a time when Hinduism was the dominant religion. The temple's intricate carvings and sculptures depict scenes from Hindu mythology, further emphasizing its spiritual significance. Historians believe that Bante Samre was likely built by a high-ranking official, a common practice in the Khmer Kingdom. While this official's identity remains unknown, their contribution to the architectural landscape of the Angkorian era is undeniable. Despite the passage of centuries, Bante Samre continues to captivate visitors with its enduring beauty and intricate design. Bante Samre's history is as captivating as its architecture. From its construction during the Angkorian era to its dedication to Vishnu, every aspect of the temple tells a story. It stands as a testament to the Samres, the local ethnic group after which it was named. This temple, named after the local ethnic group Samres, stands as a symbol of their heritage. Every ancient site has a story to tell, and Bante Samre is no exception. Amidst all the architectural grandeur and historical significance, there lies a tale that has been passed down from generation to generation. This is the legend of the cucumber farmer, a story that is as intriguing as it is unique. Picture this, a humble farmer in the verdant Cambodian countryside, growing cucumbers so delicious that they catch the attention of the local king. The king, so taken with the taste of these cucumbers, grants the farmer a rather unusual privilege, the right to slay anyone who dares to trespass his fields. One fateful night the king, craving the taste of these delectable cucumbers, ventures into the farmer's field. The farmer mistaking the king for a common thief, tragically kills him. With no heirs left to take the throne, the council hatches a plan. A royal elephant is tasked with selecting the next king. The elephant, guided by some unseen force, makes its way to the farmer's house and kneels before him. Despite the farmer's humble origins, he becomes the next king, an event that doesn't sit well with the high-ranking ministers. Feeling the weight of their scorn and unable to bear the humiliation, the farmer king abandons his palace. He finds solace in the remote Bante Sre temple, where he spends the rest of his days. This captivating tale is not just a legend, but a testament to the rich folklore of Cambodia. It's a story that weaves through the history of Bante Samre, adding a human touch to the stone carvings and ancient structures. It is a tale that has been passed down generations, a story that locals still hold dear to their hearts. This legend adds a layer of intrigue to the already fascinating history of Bante Samre. It's a reminder that these ancient stones are more than just relics of the past, they are carriers of stories, of histories untold, of lives lived long ago.